So let's get into this and let's talk downtown Oakville. We spoke about it before with all the construction on Lakeshore, parking has increased, not decreased. I've seen you talk about this. That's something you want people to know and more parking to come from what I've been told. Right. Well, the the construction, which is long done now uh, for the new streetscape that seems to be wildly popular, uh, brought in its in its wake uh, an additional 38 parking spots downtown. And, uh, you know, I don't think the world has I don't think everybody in the world has resumed going out. So there's still no parking problem in uh, in the downtown. But having said that, we have to look ahead and we know that over time we're going to grow. And we need a new parking structure and uh, and the parking structure and the new cultural facilities are on the work plan for this term of council. So uh, the the long wanted and uh, unfortunately delayed by the need to contribute to the new hospital uh, downtown revival is back in back on the track. Hey, that is good news for everyone who wants to go downtown, make it as convenient as possible to get down there park and then get out of there after dishing out a few bucks and supporting local. Well, the downtown symbolizes Oakville. It's kind of the, it's the founding spot, but that's what people identify with and they move here and they live all over town in, uh, in the subdivisions where, you know, so basically you have a home and a yard or an apartment and, uh, and you have a neighborhood, but where, what you think of as Oakville is down there in that Oakville Harbor where the, where the town was founded. All right. Well, for those people who don't drive, I think this works for our next topic. To get around Oakville, beginning May 1st, both youth and seniors will be able to ride Oakville Transit for free with a Presto card. So I am curious, as we get more digital and automated, why is there a need to carry another card? Well, we still have a uh, business to run in, in the form of the transit, and there's long been talk about uh, the need to uh, extend service to seniors and youth. And uh, Presto Card's the only way we can count them. So uh, we're going we're gonna to find out uh, just, uh, well, if you, can't, if you can't measure what you're doing, you can't manage it. And so if you want a free ride, it's worth three, four bucks, uh, get a card, they're free. Or we're, we're giving them away for free. Uh, uh, Metrolinx, I think now, I think they charge you six bucks if you wanna go to Metrolinx for one. But uh, hey, six bucks, you've paid back the, the card with two rides. Yeah, makes sense. But you did say you're giving them away for free as well uh, at particular places. Yeah, Oakville Transit has a has a limited number that they've been, uh, they may be out by now. I, mm -hmm. I probably shouldn't have said that people who, last minute running to get the free one and they'll go, sorry, they're gone. All right, no problem. Hey, uh, let's talk to end things up here about a bit of an unfortunate story. You know, we reported last week on a terrible coyote attack in Oakville in which a family lost their pet due to a coyote scaling their backyard fence um, and well, losing, taking, taking out their little dog. Uh, what is the city doing to regulate coyote presence in the town? I know this is a tough topic, but it seems to come up more and more recently. It's an easy topic. Ontario regulates coyotes and cities don't. And so cities, uh, all we can do is try to educate people that you don't leave small pets where predators can get them. Uh, you know, we move out to Oakville to be close to nature, and we're very proud of how green and, and natural we are. And, uh, you know, when you move close to nature, you get all of nature, including the predators. And uh, uh, at this time of year, when the, when the coyotes are birthing, they're particularly dangerous. And so people need to be careful. Uh, you got to, I mean, if you, my mom went to Lake Louise once and she decided to take a walk around the beautiful little lake. And about a third of the way around, she saw a grizzly bear up ahead in the clearing. My mom is uh, smarter than me. She turned around and hot footed it back to the hotel. Uh, you know, you, if you know predators are around, uh, the safe thing to do is to avoid them. So there's not much, I mean, it, it boils down to that. 
Yeah, keep an eye on the pets when they do go out to do their business and don't feed them outside, I think is uh, what the city has been saying and pushing on out. Well, Mayor Burton, we appreciate your time this morning. Let's do it again in a month's time. Thank you very much. Good to see you, Jason. 